Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 2 of Federalized Austria Let's Play. Well, not Let's Play, just part 2. We're to, well, it has been a while since it's the first episode, but it's fine. We, we got to part 2, we got enough likes, and we're gonna go expand now. So I think next step is expanding into France, and then maybe doing the South German Federation, so unite with Bavaria and Wittenberg, maybe get even bad into the whole thingy, but we will see. So, <laughs> a bit of a jump cut, I guess, because my dumb has forgot to turn on the recording software between the days I recorded, and... As you can see, we have beaten France, took and Lorraine, Alsace Lorraine and French Comte from them. Also, South German Federation has been completed because Scandinavia formed, and we don't have an alliance with the Russia anymore, and I'm thinking about attacking them. So I will wait a bit for my economy to grow, just by an itsy bitsy bit more, and then I will attack Russia. Oh, Spain thinks they can cut us down to size, that's, <laughs> that's funny actually. Ooh. Russia and Italy joined, I guess we can take some states from them now. I'm not gonna lie, but considering that we are the same strength as the coalition preparing to fight against us, I'm actually impressed by our results. I will defend the front against the Italians, however against the Russians I will go into a hard push. Don't worry guys, we're gonna win this. So we will go on the defense, which will prove <laughs> crucial in this engagement, because they're not gonna win it if they attack us. I mean, we're progressing very nicely against Russia. In Italy, against Italy we had been holding, but we lost West Switzerland and we have almost lost Lombardy, but I think it's because of this giant battle that was happening here. I'm pretty sure we can go on the offense against the enemy forces now and just push them out of Italy. Spain, I don't think we need to capitulate, but everything else, eh. Yep. Our offensive is doing just as predictedly very well and breaking their backs. Let's go. Once Italy and Russia capitulate, the war should end since we don't want anything from Spain and that should spell the end of it. Italy and Russia are agreeing to... Oh, Italy just accepted a peace deal. Russia should do too. And... Oh, Spain? I'm pretty sure we can just have a white peace with them. And just like this. We have won the war, beaten Italy, Spain, Russia and the US of A. The only major we haven't humiliated is Britain though. Let's go retake Baden. And actually no, because of Britain. <laughs> we'll chill a bit now, let our economy grow. Let our allies to grow and strengthen. As you can see, Krakow looks very scrumptious now. And then we can expand. Let's declare war on Baden. And once that is complete, we can declare war on Prussia too. Oh, France decided to join and the Ottomans too. We could actually make Ottomans into a puppet. France, something similar. War has begun and we will just go on the offense everywhere since I'm pretty sure that we should have the advantage everywhere we attack. Oh, we don't have it here. Anyway, we should be good. Oh, nice. The only thing France has left of itself is the Rhone and Brittany. The two things we want most from them. Once the Ottomans capitulate, we will own most of the Middle East and we can start fighting Egypt for real this time. Let's fight Prussia again and take what sh should be Krakow's territory from them. I mean, we'll have to fight Spain. Oh wait, we can take something from... Actually, we can take something from Egypt, I think. Wait, what? The French are communists now? I mean, I'm not that surprised, but still. Damn. Nice, the US decided that they have a chance against us in a cut down to size act. We're about to go to war with Italy, America, Britain and Spain again. And this is the big one, this is the big kahuna. We'll just defend against the on the Italian front and we'll see what happens. We will just defend against them, wait for them to tire themselves out and then we go on the counter-offensive. Yeah, no, the way. So far we're kinda holding the front, however... We are losing a good amount of men, but so are the enemies, so... Uh, we are just slowly putting the enemies through the mid-grinder. As you can see, their numbers are falling while ours are staying around the same time once they replenish, but... It's, it's a bloody war, that's all I can say. I mean, if we look at the casualties, yeah. Oh boy, the number of men is around 1 to 1 now. And I think we could go on the offensive slowly now. I think it's time for us to do a little counter-attack and take PM on. Oh, I don't think we should counter-attack now. <laughs> nice, Britain has decided to leave the war. 
And now it just leaves America, Italy and Spain. I'm just waiting for Italy to capitulate since we do have Piemon. And Americans will be willing to accept the peace, so it should be all good once Italy capitulates. Let's go attack Russia once more, try to take the Baltic states and uh, Ukrainian states. Boys, we have brought back Poland through Krakow. I bet nobody saw that one coming. Word has broken out against the Russians and I'm pretty sure we don't even have to mobilize most of our troops. Maybe if I just use a few more, like mobilize the 70 and put them on the east, we can win without a problem. It wasn't much of a problem fighting Russians. We just need to finish the one that shall not be named <laughs> Rebellion and then we can give our puppets some land. I do believe it's time for us to fight the French once more and just take their colonies at Congo in Guyana and expand Brittany a bit more. I will also try to take Catalonia from Spain so we can release Catalonia itself and just feed them some territory from Spain. I will go on the offense in France, both from Brittany and, well, Alsace-Lorraine, I guess, and Burgundy. Then we will focus on capitulating Spain and just defend against the Netherlands. Ooh, I will try to invade Spain now, since it does appear that only a small, well, small three fleets are here and we could do it since they don't have any troops in the region. Nice, the Dutch have capitulated and hopefully the other faction will capitulate soon. However, I doubt it since they still have a bit of a navy, don't they? We have beaten the French once more. And now it's just us versus Spain. Hopefully we'll be able to defeat this fleet soon and just land in Navarra. Okay, I'm just gonna white piece because we kinda need all from Libya and we don't have much market access there, so yeah. Let's attack Egypt, Crete, Libya, Transjordan and Konya and Adana from them and maybe we can still make them into our puppet because I do have the make protectorate justification on them if possible. Oh, the French sided with Egypt. I don't know what they think they'll achieve because their army is abysmal, but sure, if you want to fight, you gotta fight. We will mainly focus on defeating Egypt right now. Then we can focus on taking out France, but if we take out Egypt first, France shouldn't be... Well, they shouldn't matter too much since we don't have any war goals against them. Egypt has been defeated and we can bribe the Ottomans with Konya and Adna, Adana and just make them... Well, into our proper puppet. Let's reduce their autonomy now and hope that the war doesn't start over it. Okay, it will, nice. I mean, we are at war with the Ottomans and the Americans now, but I'm just gonna let my puppets do all the fighting because they're not that strong now, are they? We have reduced their autonomy and now we just need to white peace with the Americans. They wanna change the United Baltic Provinces regime for some reason, but we're not gonna let him. Let's attack Occitania so we can start expanding into Spain and reclaim our lost Iberian lands. Oh boy, we're, we will be at war with Britain too, so maybe we can actually start taking stuff from them. Fun fact, our economy has just overtaken the British economy and now if we take them down a peg, it truly is the Austrian century now, isn't it? I will go on the offense against Occitania, then I will try to land in Britain, but... I doubt it will happen, however I am kind of hopeful because there might be a revolution in it. So we have came, come to a stalemate on the <laughs> Occitania front and I'm just gonna wait for the British to capitulate, well capitulate, white peace with us. We have brought in our 242 battalions and now it's time to take Occitania out, the war shall end soon. Let's try to invade B Britain. I doubt we will succeed, but worth a try, okay? It's worth a try. We have defeated Occitania, and now only Britain remains, which... I mean, let's be real, we ain't invading those guys. <laughs> ah, screw it, we're just gonna liberate the Emirate of Transjordan, like anybody cares about this little piece of land. Let's go attack the Ruskis again. I think my allies can handle this threat on their own, and we can just take whatchamacallit, Belarus from them, maybe even some parts of Ukraine. Right, war has broken out with Russia and thanks to our puppet, the Baltic states, having a civil war with the communists, of course, it, it is the communists, what did you expect? We have a free, well, just pathway into St. Petersburg, just capitulating Russia. Um, Russia, you know you have to put your troops on the border, right? Not just let us walk into your country all willy-nilly like. 
I just realized what they did. They put all their troops onto little Guyana. <laughs> Dude, that I'm, I'm not gonna argue, it benefits us, okay? Nicely enough, the Russians should be capitulating any minute now. And I I don't know what we can do with that. I mean, we, we're gonna win the war, yay. Ah, yes, this truly is big Austria, isn't it? Now let's attack the French again, uniting Brittany with the rest of our empire. Oh wait, never mind, I can't declare war on France yet. So we will start subjugating Germany and this whole area. We will take care of the swamp Germans and make them into a puppet, take Dutch Guyana from them and Indonesia too, because we can. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that simple really, don't overthink it. Oh damn, Russia decided they want a round two. It's a shame I wasted all of my maneuvering points against the Dutch though. Oh well. Oh no, I have realized something. The worst case scenario for America. They're communist. Anyway, with this, I will end the video. We pretty much control all of Europe. And yeah, the only the only nation remaining that somewhat defies us, and it's because of the navy, is Britain. Which, I mean, we fought a few wars. I would like to say we, they were mostly stalemates, but we did it. If you've made it this far, I would like to ask you if you can subscribe. If you can't, hey, that's all right. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for bearing with me. Otherwise, I wish you a very nice rest of your day. And until next time, bye.